Hey everybody, welcome back to In The Black. Go ahead and like the video, help me grow the channel. Like the video, and with that being said, let's jump right into it. I'm definitely not gloating, but I did tell you so. I did tell you so. This Monopoly money thing, this Monopoly money crap project wasn't even a project at all. I put a video out last week just kind of put it out there so people could uh, do their own research. Now, I, I can't, it's not like I know anything 100%. I don't, all right? I'm just like you. I got to do my research. I have to think things out. I got to use logic. I got to use reasoning. I got to use my, my gut, all right? I use my experience as well. And when stuff just doesn't add up, if stuff just feels kind of funny or feels kind of icky, all right, it's probably not a good idea to go ahead and invest in something like this. Now, it turns out that this Monopoly money NFT quote-unquote project was a rug pull. It was a scam. Somebody worked really, really hard to scam, I'm going to guess, hundreds of people out of their money. Now, it was only up for a day or so, uh, so let's just take a look. How do I know it was a rug pull for sure? Well, because... We can look at the NFT calendar, right? An NFT calendar was something that they were uh, saying. If you can look at the look at my video from last week, they were saying uh, the, the the developer, quote unquote, of the uh, Monopoly Money NFT project were saying uh, that this was one of their partners or what have you. <laughs> NFT calendar. Well, you can go on NFT calendar and you can put up whatever the heck you want. They don't go ahead and, and verify it at all. So you can just put up whatever you want and put it on their calendar. So that d really means nothing. But here's how we definitely know. When we go to their website and we click on website, the same website that I clicked on in the video uh, last week, all right, here they tell you uh, you have to do your own research and cross-check the validity of this website, okay? So they don't do that for you. They're saying, Anybody can put something up. You have to do your own research. We try to go to their website. This is what pops up. Now, last week, it was a whole entire website with all this, quote, unquote, great stuff about the project. And it told you how to invest your money and what was going to happen to the money that you invested, how you were going to get rich, basically, off of their, their platform. And now, suddenly, it's missing, OK? So that's one red flag. As if that wasn't enough, the Twitter account, go on my Twitter account here. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, go ahead and follow me. It's at black underscore Enda. Wow, the Monopoly NFT account doesn't exist anymore. It did last week, but apparently now it does not exist anymore. So there are your two red flags. And I'm not even gonna do the Discord, but that is down as well. Folks, you, you have to be smart out here. You can't just go chasing anything and everything that sounds like it, it has all the bells and whistles. It sounds like it, it could be an opportunity to make some money. You have to go in with uh, skeptical eyes. And that's why I say I can't tell anybody what to do, okay? I'm giving you suggestions based on my personal experience. And with that suggestion comes a uh, a nice kick in the butt to go ahead and do your own research to see if the things that I mentioned are what you want to get involved in. Now, I'm definitely not going to say anything, I'm not going to mention anything that, that I don't believe in and that I don't think is going to, uh, to, to be good for, for my viewers or my friends and family or what have you. So uh, if you hear me say it, then that means I, I've definitely checked it out and I think that it might be something good. Uh, for others to to go ahead and check out and verify, and you might find something that I don't that I don't see, or you might find something wrong with a project that that I'm that I'm all in on, and that's perfectly fine. That's what the comments are for, and uh, you know that's why having more than more than two eyes is better. All I'm saying is let this be a lesson to those of you who were um, you know eager enough to go ahead and. and and invest your money into this uh, this scam of a project. Okay, so lessons learned. Hopefully you didn't get burned for more than $100. Uh, but those of you who were kind of on the fence and not sure, should I invest in this Monopoly money? 
you know, should I do it or should I not? Those of you who are on the fence, hopefully you understand that next time you have to be a little bit more skeptical and do a little bit more digging to find out what the truth really looks like. Just because somebody has bells and whistles on their, uh, on their website and says that they've been vetted and says that they're trustworthy doesn't mean that they actually are. So I hope this is helpful to you, not just for this particular project, but for projects going forward. Do your own research, do your due diligence. It's really, really, really important. Don't rely on anybody on YouTube, including me, to tell you what to do with your, with your money. Now, with that being said, I encourage you, if you have not looked into Drip Network yet, check out the links below. If you're interested in getting involved, after you've done your due diligence, be sure to go ahead and use my buddy, buddy link uh, in the description below. And I hope all of you have a very successful year in crypto. I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, shout me out in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, stay smart and stay in the black.